okay uh, let us discuss the few problem from your door so this problem is 1.118 so something related to work in a theorem so this says a particle has shifted along some trajectory in x y plane so i have a x y plane here so this is my x side this is my y side and a particle is along some trajectory so some trajectory is given from point 1 to point 2 so point 1 is somewhere here and finally this point 2 is somewhere here so particle is taken from point 1 to 2 radius vector of point 1 is r1 so this is given radius vector of point r1 is r1 for point 2 that is r2 so let us say point 2 is here so radius vector of point 1 and radius vector of point 2 is given r1 is given this is equal so this is simply fairly easy problem 2j and r2 is also given that is 2y minus 3j and the force is during that time interval particle experience a force and this force is given so during this time interval there is a force that is acting on the particle that is given by 3i plus 4j so this is the force that is acting on the particle now the question asks find the work performed by the force so we have to find what is the work that has been performed by the force now things is very simple in this case work done is nothing but f dot dr or i can write delta r and delta r is nothing but r2 minus r1 so vector r2 minus vector r1 will give you delta r so r2 minus r1 is r2 is 2i minus 3j r1 is i plus 2z so this is equals to 2i minus i so this is i minus 3i minus 2z so this is minus 5z so f dot dr work done will be equals to f is what 3i plus 4z so this is work done dot dr that is i minus 5z now let us take the dot product 3 in dot 3 i dot i is 1 i dot z is 0 4 dot i that is 4 as uh, 0 dot i is 0 and then so this is 0 so this into this is 0 this into this is 0 now 4 into 5 that is minus 20 z dot j dot j is 1 so this is total work performed is minus 17 joule the si unit for work is uh, joule so this work has been performed in joule unit minus 17 joule so in this point only one thing is important work done is given by f dot dr Now dr we can find it out, and we can know the f, so we can find out the total work performed. This is the fairly easy question. We'll discuss the next question. We just copy it out. You see, if the three di, if you have a force that is in the three dimensions, and then you have to write dr is. So you see, in this case, dr is simply r2 minus r1. We have only x and y component. If you have z component also, you have to have Uh, by component as well as so you see what we can write work done can be written as a simple expression f x i f y z plus f z k this is the force I can write a general expression for force dot d r and d r is nothing but I can write if I write d x i plus d by z plus d z k I can always write uh, d r in something this way so this is Because i dot i will be one, i dot z will be zero, and i dot k will be zero. So I can write f x d x plus f y d y plus f z d z. So this will be the simple expression for work done. Are you getting or not? In three dimension. We'll discuss the next problem.